Good morning. So it is the day after my oral surgery, getting my wisdom teeth pulled out, and I'm able to talk. I'm able to walk. I am okay. Like it's not even as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um, I already miss taking. I need you. three pills this morning but it's still a little hard for me to eat um i tried to eat noodles yesterday but i'm not doing that anymore just because like it was good and it wasn't hard for me to eat but the noodles were getting stuck in the holes after even after then after i cleaned up or I cleaned out my mouth and rinsed it with the Corex Corexidine. I don't know if that's how you spell it, but this is nasty and you can't swish water after. Let's take it after I eat just to make sure I keep everything clean and it doesn't get affected. Um, so really all day I'm just going to sit around the house and eat what I can eat. Oh I'm itchy. Eat what I can eat. <clears throat> My throat hurts a little bit and it just feels like I have stuff stuck up here. But other than that I'm okay. Like I'm not in pain pain. The medicine is like really helping me. I'm not gonna miss any more. And I'm going to eat my appetite and I need to go find something else to eat because this is not the move. My sister tried to give me like a whole cup and make me eat it yesterday. I was like, um, that's too much applesauce for me. I'm going to try to tell me that was my meal. Yeah. So, I am just Again, gonna take care of myself today, take it easy, chill, and edit videos today so I can get back posting more on YouTube, you guys. Um, I still wanna go to the gym, but nobody's letting me go. I really don't wanna eat this. been home yet so I don't want to be by myself. I mean Mark is there but he didn't even remind me to wake up for my shift clock. So And these are, these are hard to, I don't think I'm supposed to be drinking out of this actually. Is hard to swallow and I can't drink out of a straw um but real quick while I eat this let me tell you what my sister said about me being back there because I couldn't take my phone definitely couldn't take my camera inside um I couldn't take my camera inside I had to take it back to the car I'm sorry, every time I do that, I'm really trying to clean out. I'm trying to clean out my mouth. I'll clean out the hole. Um, was not able to take my camera or my phone back there just because privacy policy and they don't really, they have other people back there and they don't want their business out there. Um, so I get back and they had me oh, she was the bathroom so I don't do anything to myself while they put me under or put me on anesthesia 
um, and then they brought me back to the room where I was going to be. I thought it was going to be like some kind of surgical room, but it's not at all. It's just one of their normal dentist room, just with more equipment in there. It was clean because you know I was looking around making sure it was clean. Um, and they sat me in a chair, and then she put a, she put a little sticky thing where they were going to put a monitor here, here, and then on my left ankle um and then she connected me to the machine so i had wires coming from my wrist sorry my wrist and my ankle and then she took my blood pressure i'm sure my blood pressure was skyrocketed because yes lucky because i was already nervous as crap then wait He's being bossy. Then um, the doctor, the doctor came back and he was just asking me if I had any questions. I did have questions, but I couldn't think of them at that time. And then what else did he? I don't remember what else he asked me. He asked me something else. Um. And then they told me they're about. Then he took this arm and um tightened it so that the vein could come out and then that's when they put the needle and the anesthesia started so let me tell you what I do remember before the anesthesia kicked in um I guess they started like having a conversation and it was probably like a minute was past it may have been shorter um and they said something i don't know about coffee they hadn't had their coffee yet and it was like 10 30 and i was like yeah i haven't eaten either because they wouldn't let me eat and they didn't let me drink i couldn't eat or drink after 12 the night before and i couldn't eat or drink that morning so i was upset because i didn't even get my coffee and coffee is the way that i get started and i still haven't had coffee because i can't mix caffeine with medicine So then she said she said something about coffee and I was like, I want Starbucks. I don't know why I said it, but I do remember saying it. I want Starbucks. And then he was like, huh? Huh? You want steroids? I was like, no, I want Starbucks. So I remember saying that and I wasn't controlling myself. Like I wasn't even trying to say that at all. And then I started looking at the x-ray in front of me. And the next thing I know, I was looking straight and my eyes were going down. And then I closed my eyes, but I could still hear them. So I opened my eyes back up so they didn't think that I was asleep. Okay, I didn't want them to start. And they thought I was asleep. So I opened my eyes back up and I was trying to force myself to keep my eyes open. Um, and I, I, the last thing I remember was just looking straight and then my eyes going down. But I don't remember my eyes ever closing. So... After that, then, of course, you know, you wake up because however much time has passed, you don't know, but close your eyes and it's like you're waking back up. So then I was very woozy. Um, everything was in threes when I was waking up. Um, and then they just sat there and there was like three or four people that kept coming back to check on me um, once I woke up. I don't even know if they gave me like anything that because yeah I don't think they put anything under my nose to wake me up which was good because I heard people doctors can be rude or nurses can be rude and just put something under and it just wakes you up and you're like what the crap so that and then once they got me on my feet it took me a while to get up they walked me to the back of the office. I don't. I did not go through the front. I didn't go through the front. I went straight to the back, and because I noticed my sister's car, and she helped me because I could not walk. I could barely walk. She had to help me. And then I get in the car. She buckles me up. I didn't buckle myself up. And then I, everything was still like in threes. 
still hungry as crap. And then my sister, she drives, takes me back to her place. But she stops at Walmart so she can get my applesauce, my juice. Ooh, I have juice. Flexa Flexa so bought the apple juice when I got here yesterday and the noodles and some yogurt. So kudos to both my sisters. Um, and I need to go buy more gauze because I'm still bleeding a little bit. Um, then she took me home. And then I was like, ooh. Like, I fell asleep. Like, she gave me my medicine. I think she was, like, studying my medicine for, like, an hour when we got home. She started giving them to me, but I was, like, she was, like, you can't lay down. She took my shoes off. Like, my sister was such a sweetheart, and I just can't thank her enough. I keep saying thank you to her because she didn't have to do any of that. Um, I fell asleep on the couch. She made, made sure I was sitting up because the nurse told her that I was not allowed to lay down and then I don't know what happened I know I kept falling asleep I kept falling asleep I was very very tired and I probably woke up around four three or four o'clock it was nasty it's not nasty I just don't want to eat it dozing in and out and my sister was like studying stuff making sure she was giving me the wrong amount so when I finally woke up for the day when I was able to stay up before I was falling asleep here and there but I was asleep for a period of time after um when I woke up I was laughing with my sister and I was like haha you weren't able to get any videos of me <laughs> on anesthesia and she was like mm, that's what you think so i don't know if there's a video or not out there of me that her and my brother are sharing i guess i'll find out later because they like to make little memes of me that the public will never be able to see um Oh, then this is when she told me that a little bit after when I was back there, it was probably like 10, 15 minutes. So this is the time that they're giving me the anesthesia. My sister heard them calling my name multiple times. And she was getting a little worried because nobody else's name was being called. So she asked the nurse and they said, oh, they're just getting her um, ready and probably giving her the anesthesia. Then they come back and tell her, oh, they had to give me more anesthesia because I wasn't going to sleep but I don't remember that at all I don't remember if I said anything besides coffee to them I don't remember saying anything else to them besides Starbucks to them so maybe they'll tell me that story when I go back from a follow-up appointment at the end of the month which I have another appointment with the dentist which I think I need to reschedule my regular dentist I have an appointment with them so that they can give me um they can mold my teeth um so that I can start doing my whitening process all of this dental work like I'm ready for it to be over like I think I've done a really good job making sure I don't have to go through the process that I went through five years ago with my root canal because that was traumatizing that's an mm, i'm not even gonna go into detail but make sure y'all take care of your teeth because it can be very very painful um they don't give you all this pain medicine for anything um if you're not taking care of your teeth which i fuss at mark about all the time because he does not take care of his teeth um it can lead to heart disease um you can have a heart attack from it it connects to your bl bloodstream like your teeth are very very important um, and I will spend all the money I have to to make sure that my teeth are in good condition. Um, but I really needed to get my wisdom teeth pulled out because they were starting, they were causing issues after my root canal five years ago. And I pushed off, pushed off, pushed off, didn't have insurance, pushed, then I got insurance, pushed off, pushed off, 
then I didn't, then I pushed it off. Pushed it. So I have insurance and be able to do all of this. And now where I am working now, because I still, of course, work my nine to five, I'm do great job. <clears throat> um, I have really good insurance. I didn't have to pay out of pocket too much. My insurance covered 70% of the pay. So I was not complaining at all. Complaining a little bit, but not that much. Um, so yeah, that was my experience. This is my experience um, getting my root canal. I mean, my root canal. Getting my wisdom teeth pulled out late in life because usually people get them pulled out between 16 to 18 19 that's when people really get their wisdom teeth pulled out but i waited a bit bit longer lucky i don't have any kids to take care of so really my family is helping me as much as they can or helping me a lot i should say mark learning that he's not really a caretaker I think I already knew that but just it when real stuff happens then I'm like okay yeah I'm gonna have to work with you on this you need to baby me sir men please baby your women when something happens because when I say baby I mean like babe do you need anything babe can I get this for you babe um, or just like little things, like just reminding. <laughs> I had to set my alarm for my medicine, but I already... Just doing little things here and there for her. Um, yeah, just baby her whenever something happens. So again, this is my experience of getting my wisdom teeth pulled out. I am okay. I'm talking. The medicine is working perfectly. I have no pain. I just have, it's just annoying, an annoying feeling and it's swollen a little bit. And the fact that I can't eat what I want to eat is what's annoying. Other than that, pretty good. I was worried for nothing. I was getting anxiety for nothing. I'm all good. I don't have to ever go through that again. Thank you, Jesus. I still can't eat the way I want to eat, though. And I want chicken. And I want fish. And I want shrimp. And I want Mark's mom's roast. Alright y'all, I hope y'all like this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I will post more videos. I promise I'm getting better at this. I know I keep saying the same thing over and over again. But I'm getting better at it. Um, I'm having more people around me to make sure I stick to what I said I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, again, like this video comment on this video tell me if you had yours done tell me if you you're getting yours done anytime soon let's have a conversation about it and if you are not subscribed to my channel i ask that you please subscribe to my channel inspired by monet beauty fitness lifestyle Aww.